once again unboxing out of the red corner, Luca Jarman. His opponent across the ring, boxing out of the blue corner, Charlie Bridger. So Chris Hoyles brings them together for back five, boxing over three, two minute rounds of action here at MCP3. With myself, Malcolm Martin in the red corner, Luca Jarman in the all black Round shorts. One. In the blue, Charlie Bridger with the black and gold. Both men orthodox stance as you can see. Both men tight guard, back and forward with the jabs. Charlie looked for the right hand follow up. Stalking Luca, moving the head, little feint. Oh, and as I said that, it was Luca that lands with the clean right hand. Keeping his right hand tight to his face as he pushes out that jab, Luca. Charlie pushes out with the jab once more. Looks for his own right. Jab reply from Luca. Measured start from both men. Tidy boxing. Look for the left and right, Luca, taking his time. Charlie on his toes, gets back into the crouch as he pushes forward. Looks for the jab, when he throws that jab, just slightly drops the right hand, if it can be exploited. Luca, as you can see, keeps that elbow in, that right hand tight and high, as he throws his own jab. Little right there from Charlie finds the target, looks for it again. Throws the jab once more. Stalking jab from Luca just clips the top of Charlie's head. Right to the body from Charlie. Luca pushes out the jab once more. Not much between them in this opening round. Possibly say a little bit of control there for Luca. As I say that, the jab of Charlie gets through and pushes the head back. Look for the left and right. Lucas slips them but takes the little left hook. Looks for the right hand, Luca. Good defensive work so far, both oh. men. Not a great deal between them. Maybe edge to Luca, but there's still plenty in this back. Round two. Two of three in what was a close opening round. Charlie stepping forward, both using the jab as the weapon of choice at the moment, the lead shot. Charlie just stepping up the pace a little bit, doubling up the jab and throwing the right hand afterwards. Luke looks for his own right. Charlie looks for the right to the body, steps away from the right reply to the head. Goes into that crouch again, Charlie. Luca doubles up the jab, throws the straight right hand. Stiff jab from Charlie, right to the body from Luca this time. And again, a good close competitive boxing bank. Good clean technique, both men. And as I said, working on the jab as the opener. Looking for it to open up the opponent. Charlie looked for the right hand after. Looking to retain centre ring, and that can be important. Important little right to the body there from Luca in apply, but Charlie chips the right in over the top of the guard. And the pace hots up just a bit here in the second, and that was a good right hand again from Charlie as he stepped in. Looks to double the jab once more. Luca responds, looks for the right to the body, doubles it up to the head. Charlie just beginning to put a few extra shots in here and ask a few questions. And as I say, ask the questions, it's the right hand to the temple that drops Luca. And Luca forced to take the count. I just said he was beginning to double up on the shots and ask the questions. So Luca's saying he's back on his feet. He's saying he's okay to continue. But this is now a big round for Charlie with the last 10 seconds left. There's the right again and it's causing Luca the problems. He looks for his own big right in reply. But he's under pressure again now from Charlie. Tom. Big second round for the blue corner, courtesy of that knockdown.
seconds out. Third and final round. Third and final round, and Luca needs a big round. It's pretty even until that knockdown. And he's going to have to protect that left hand side of his face because Charlie will be looking for that overhand right again. Oh, and this time he lands with the left. I felt that Charlie was just beginning to put the combinations in and push the pace when he caught Luca cleanly. And he did the same there. He works subtly to the body, he changes that hook to a body uppercut, and then brings the right in over the top afterwards. And it caught Luca literally off guard and landed. And then again, he just turned it again, as you saw, a variety now in Charlie's punches. Look for that uppercut again. Luca aware of it this time. Look for the right to the body. Luca's still pushing out the jab, but it doesn't have the authority it did in the opening round. Charlie, I feel, has taken the sting out of Luca. As I say that, that was a good right hand from a tucked up defence from Luca, still in this bout. Charlie looks to double up to the body. Looks for the right to the body again. Stays the centre. I like the way he controls the centre of that ring. And he's always seen to be looking to back Luca up. Luca is the one lost the gum shield, breathing deeply. Chris Royal's little word with him, little smile from both, and they go again. They touch gloves. Charlie, the left of the body. Looks for the double right, then the left. Oh, just missed with that overhand right to the temple once more. You feel he's stalking now, though, don't you? And Luca's got to snap out that right hand. He's got to get a big shot in before the end of this round. And the right to the body again from Charlie, just retaining that centre, looking to keep Luca on the back foot. And it's been a good tactic across the second and third. And with 10 seconds to go, he's in control of this bank. Oh, and that right lands again, and Luca looks like he's going to see this back out, but it's going to be a big win for the man in the blue corner. Damn. All courtesy of that opening up in the second round with the knockdown, and then he was in control from that point. OK, ladies and gents, let's have both boxers to the centre of the ring, please. After three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards and we do have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Your winner, boxing out of the blue corner, Charlie Bridger. Yes, controlled round rounds two and three. Luca Jarman, ladies and gents, thank you. We're here at MCP3, Great Side Level Centre in Swindon. How are you feeling after that big win? Well, it's good to be back. I mean, I'm not as composed as I wanted to be. I've trained hard for this one. I've got a job done. Hey, that second round, you landed a huge right up a gut. Yeah, yeah. Is that oh, natural power? Too, is that something you've been working it's on? It's natural power. The thing is, I get it harder than that. I get it harder than that when I'm lowering my stance, but I kept popping up. Hey, I'm back now. I'm hey. back with a bang and I'll come Any message to the people who come hey. before you? Shout out this man here. This man is my brother. He is my brother, man. And me and him are going to go where we fucking can in this shit. We love this shit. Man, I'm telling you. Congratulations on your victory, man. Well done. Well done.